I attended a marvelous seminar called Move People to Action, presented by Wendy Lipton Dibner, an expert in public speaking and creating positive influence. Wendy recently published a newsletter on motivation, suggesting that more than a great attitude and relentless persistence are required for today's entrepreneur to succeed. With the beating so many businesses and business people have withstood of late, Many have become fence-sitters, paralyzed between desire to grow and fear of insurmountable consequences. This is how she assesses this shift and advises modern motivators to respond with the four new rules of motivation. Number one, add information to your inspiration. Motivation only works when people understand how to take action and believe they can trust the process that will get them there, and that includes trusting you as their leader and guide. Number two, don't be too positive. Seriously, a little negativity goes a long way toward helping people know that you understand their pain. Be real. Be genuine. Be human. Feel what they feel and let them know you know. Number three, enter their world before you try to drag them into yours. Do your research. Learn about what it's really like on both sides of their fence and talk about that with them before you invite them to change. And number four, make it fun and fast. 24-7 access to entertainment and information has seriously shortened attention spans and created an expectation of fun. Rise to the occasion. Motivation is alive and well. It's simply matured with age. Our job is to grow with it and not hold on to old school thinking. Wendy is right on point, and her message is spot on for frustrated chiropractors who feel they have a great story to tell, only to discover that many people have neither the time nor inclination to jump on board. Here's how these rules relate to chiropractors. Today's healthcare consumer is better informed than ever, and needs the details of your approach to make a good decision. Being likable helps, but it's not enough. You must own and package your material before you attempt to convey the importance of your care. Instead of a candy-coated panacea, modern patients want the facts, and that means laying out the realities of their situation is necessary to get them to accept you. Study cultural trends and patterns so you comprehend the patient's needs. As Stephen Covey said, first understand, then seek to be understood. And finally, make your presentation fresh, exciting, and appealing. It'll encourage the prospective patient to want to connect with you, an X factor that cannot be overrated. When these ideas are invaluable in building your following, know your clientele and adjust your approach so you can motivate them to do what's best for them, which invariably leads to what's best for you, too.